Hello everyone, I'm in beautiful Santorini, just arrived today and as you can tell by the title of this video, I just wanted to show you what I normally buy when I want to stay lean on holiday, what I go to the shops and buy. And most of the time, in recent years, Sarah and I have been doing like Airbnb and staying in flats and apartments because you can buy your own food and cook your own food rather than having to be in a hotel and eat all the hotel food over and over again. So we usually eat our own breakfast, eat our own lunches and snacks, unless we're out and about, and then go out for dinner and just enjoy while well, we're in Greece and enjoying Greek food. So let's get cracking. First of all, obviously, it's the absolute major one. You have to stay massively hydrated. I'm going to train a lot here as normal, um, as well as being in just this fantastic heat. It's so hot. You're sweating a lot more. You have to rehydrate continuously. You may get water from your vegetables and other drinks as well, but pure water is essential. So already getting through a pack of six of that. <clears throat> Onto this second bag. Melon. I love melon. I don't have it much at home. Either have melon or watermelon whilst I'm away. Fantastic for adding to breakfast usually, waking up and having some fresh melon or as a snack during the day just for a, a bit of bit of fruit. Fantastic micronutrients, a bit of bit of sugar to, but actually quite low in sugar for a few but um, but really fantastic when you're having those cravings, you want that sweetness. Lovely. And two packs of frozen chicken breast. We've got a fridge here so we'll just keep that going and then that's perfect for lunches when we're here, if we're not on a trip or going elsewhere. Um, then it's fantastic just making like a, a chicken salad or chicken and vegetables. Um, and fantastic. That's where I'm gonna get most of my protein from, from there. Um, next bag. And we've got some, just got some ham here as well. Just some standard uh, ham, perfect for breakfast as well. So I'm probably gonna have the melon, some ham, and see what's coming up next as well. Um, coffee, coffee, some people like coffee. I love coffee. I actually wake up in the morning and really look forward to coffee. Whether it's a placebo effect to really wake me up or whether the caffeine genuinely has a hit, but there's been proven studies to show that caffeine prior to workouts can actually increase your metabolism, increase your fat burning potential. Um, and it works for me, so I keep going. So a black coffee, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna train and then come back and have breakfast. Okay, and, aha, uh -huh. Greek yogurt, of course, I am in Greece. I have this at home, but definitely having it here in Greece. Um, um, total zero, I've actually just brought out a 2% and in the shop I couldn't find the 0% the fat. So 2% it is, and this is probably gonna be a part of breakfast or just a snack during the day with some fruit or mixing in some whey protein or something. I have included supplements, but this is just my my sh uh, my shop from the grocery store. Um, okay, next. <clears throat> Last bag. So we've got, oh, don't drop the eggs. Two packs of eggs, so 12 eggs. This is obviously including all of Sarah's stuff as well, but this is a great way to, as well as the chicken, up the protein content of your day with the eggs, and most probably as a part of breakfast. What It's actually my birthday tomorrow, by the way, and uh, what I really wanted for my birthday was some melon, some ham, some, some boiled eggs, and just have a really fresh, lovely, colorful breakfast in the sun, so this is gonna really help. Lovely eggs, and uh, coming on to the vegetables, Cucumber there, again, just filling up the color, the content, the micronutrients, which is incredibly important for health, especially whilst you're in these hot countries, you're sweating a lot and losing nutrients in your sweat. You need to pack it all back in with your food. And that's exactly why I've got two big green peppers as well for the same reason. And of course, staying satisfied as well. I'm never as hungry in the sun, but Packing up your content with vegetables and high volume foods with, with low calorie is fantastic for staying lean because you're not having to eat lots of calories on high calorie dense foods. And exactly the same, two big tomatoes. So, I reckon some of those ingredients will be gone in a couple of days, others will last maybe a little bit longer, depending on what it is. And um, I'll just top it up as I go. Like I said, I'll 
I'll probably eat out in the evenings with Sarah and whether we're on a trip we'll eat out but this is great to pack in the fridge and keep me motivated really. Anyway, that is it. This is day one of Santorini. We have literally just climbed up there which doesn't look very, very far but oh my god. We had three hours sleep last night, early flight and now we are absolutely exhausted. But that's in another vlog on my channel um, probably before I release this one. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps you on your holiday when you want to stay lean and stay focused on your health and fitness. Anyway, lots more coming. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up and thanks again. See you later.